We talked a lot about Hertz, of course. Right. The plan there, remember, was to start selling stock to potentially raise enough money to actually improve their balance sheet to such an extent that maybe they'd be able to come out. Um, that didn't happen after the SEC raised, uh, well, more disclosure questions. Although, by the way, even though Hertz pulled it, it doesn't mean it's entirely off the table because they could come back at some point and say, well, now we've passed disclosure with the SEC and they still want to do it. Uh, another one is Chesapeake, Jim, which you followed closely. Oh, of course, yeah. you knew Aubrey McClendon, the man who started it uh, very well. Spent, you spent a lot of time with him. Natural oh, yeah. gas being the focus there. One of the pioneers. But Mr. McClendon also did have a tendency to spend a lot of money on things that had nothing to do with natural gas, as you well know. And some of that is coming up now. I think the company is going to cite that as one of the reasons why they just were unable to sort of get out from underneath the enormous debt pile uh, that they had. They are talking about a restructuring support agreement that eliminates $7 billion in debt. They've gotten their debtor in possession financing already set. Uh, and, you know, they're talking about a reorganization. They point out, by the way, that when the new CEO took over, uh, this company had more debt than Exxon and Chevron. Mm. Um, and here's a couple of things that I'm hearing from people close to the situation that Mr. Uh, McClendon, that they sort of had a, a kind of deal with. Uh, no budgets. Um, I'm also told one of the first bills that came across Lawler's desk was $110 million for two parking garages that Aubrey McClendon had uh, actually uh, 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 commissioned. Uh, there was a magnificent wine cave yeah, that they found. Yeah, wine. You introduced um, me to Colgin. Yeah. He took, and he it, by the way, Colgin. it took I thought it weeks was like to Nana find Shavis. it. It was hidden behind a broom closet, oh. apparently, on campus. They were the largest NBA season ticket holder with the Thunder, the biggest user of NetJest in the U.S., <laughs> and on and on. So, uh, you know... It wasn't just the decline in natural gas prices, which have stayed, as we know, stubbornly low for a long period of time. It wasn't so many other things. Uh, well, it was, but it was in addition to, Jim, lavish spending at the company that took them quite some time to work through. Well, I, I was close with Aubrey. I went to see him drill in Ohio. Uh, and he said, Jim, there is so much, <laughs> so much oil in Ohio. It's, just come. Just come to where we're drilling. Just come to where we're drilling. And I get there. And it's not oil, it's natural gas. I said, well, where's the oil? He goes, well, it turns out that there's no oil. And I'm like, you know, Aubrey, I'm out here to see oil wells. He goes, well, no, no, natural gas. Natural gas is the future. Well, natural gas, it, it, the price crashed. And I think that Doug Lord, yes, they absolutely had, uh, there's some plus, uh, there's some things that Aubrey, obviously, you documented them. Uh, and Aubrey also was uh, facing uh, 10 years in prison on violating the Sherman Antitrust Act. It's not convicted, but that's a 10 years, uh, 10 years no matter what. So there were definitely issues. But uh, in the end, I think what felled them was they were too much natural gas and natural gas collapsed and they had too much debt. Now, Cabot has a lot of natural gas, they don't have, but they have a good balance sheet. Uh, watch out. Chesapeake's dead. Oh, Chesapeake owes a lot of midstream MOPs money. Uh, that's where they'll be. That's where they'll be hurt. Uh, that's who's going to get hurt. But Chesapeake was an outlier, and if you were um, anyone who followed this for a long time would know that this thing uh, was it, it had basically had it. Now I guess because it's in bankruptcy, it's going to be bought by the Robin Hood people. Is that what happens? That's <laughs> yes. like the clarion That's kind call. of why I was discussing it in, uh, uh, along with Hertz. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Right. Meanwhile, and, I, and I listen. I, I love the idea of hidden wine. Right from your yeah, um, but hidden wine cellars that that's I mean I keep looking here maybe who knows you never know Carl you can always get lucky somehow you'll find one behind a broom closet filled with really good wine <laughs> it's always a dream.